It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to learn how to interpret a scatter plot. We're going to talk about positive association, negative association, and then we're going to find different values on the scatter plot. Here is our question today. We have a question that has four parts today. We'll do each part independent of the other. So we know that a student recorded the high temperature in degrees Fahrenheit in his town on each day for the first 10 days in January. This scatter plot shows the data the student recorded. So here is our scatter plot. Part A, we are asked, based on the scatter plot, what was the high temperature in degrees Fahrenheit on day five? So here's where I want you to pause the video, determine the temperature on day five, and then come back and hit play to see my work. Good luck. Welcome back. Once again, reviewing that we're looking for the high temperature on day five from our scatter plot. So we're going to go over to our scatter plot and find day five. So our x axis is labeled days. So we're going to go between four and six, and here's day five. We're going to travel up to the first data point that we come to on day five, which is right here. And then we're going to travel to the y-axis, which represents our high temperature. And we can read that on day five, the data point in the scatter plot tells me that that high temperature will be 45 degrees. So let's answer our question. The high temperature on day five was 45 degrees. That's part A. Moving on to part B. Based on the scatter plot, on which day does the high temperature seem to be an outlier? And we need to explain our reasoning. So pause the video here, answer the question, and come back to see my work. Welcome back. Here, which day does there appear to be an outlier? That's what we're trying to uncover. To begin, let's review what an outlier is. By definition, an outlier is a point that is separate from the rest of the points. So if we look at our scatter plot here, we can see that all but one of our data items is between 40 and 50 degrees between these number of days. We look and we can see that we have one lonely data point outside of the traditional data area. So this is what we call an outlier because it is separate from the cluster of major data. So we can conclude that on day six, there is an outlier. So if we look at this, the temperatures in January, we can see that day six in January was the only day that we have data collected for that wasn't between 40 and 50 degrees for a high. On day six, it dropped to 30. So let's answer our question to explain our reasoning. Day six seems to be an outlier. All other days have a temperature between 40 and 50 degrees. Day six has a temperature of 30, which is separate from the other points. Moving on to part C. Determine whether the data in the scatter plot has a positive or a negative association and explain your reasoning. Please pause here and come back when you're ready. Welcome back. We want to find if it's positive or a negative association in our data. So when we read a graph talking about increasing or decreasing data, we want to talk, read it left to right. So we're going to start from the left and we're going to move to the right. And how what, whatever the data does there tells us its association. So we're looking to see it will have a positive association if we're increasing from left to right and it will have a negative association if we're decreasing as we read left to right. So if we look at our graph and we start left and we go right, we can see that if we drew a line in there, we will see that it is increasing left to right with the exception of our outlier. So to conclude and explain our reasoning, the data here has a positive association since the pattern is increasing or moving upward as you read the graph left to right. And here's part D. The student says that based on the trend in the data, the expected high temperature on day 15 will be greater than the high temperature on day 10. Is the student correct? And explain your reasoning. Pause now and then come back. Welcome back. 
We're looking to compare the temperature on day 15 and is it greater than the temperature on day 10? So going over to our graph, let's look and find where we would be here. So day 15 would be out here on our x-axis. So here's 12, it's increasing by two, 12, 14. So I estimate day 15 to be approximately right here. So we're gonna go up to our trending data, increasing, and we'll go over and identify our temperature, okay? Now we're gonna come over to day 10, go up to our data, and we have a data point for that one, and go over to the temperature. So what we wanna see here is that if our positive association continues, right, our line is trending up, then on day 15, our temperature would be 55 degrees, which is indeed greater than day 10's temperature of 50. So we can conclude that yes, since the data has a positive association, the temperature will continue to increase as the day increases. So there you have it. That is how we interpret and read a scatter plot. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you come back soon.